Hello and welcome to episode number 158 of Super Kali Funnelistic. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and today I'm going to share a few secrets with you that will help you get the best support possible from almost any company. Now before we talk about that, as always, quick welcome to all of you who tune in for the first time to one of my episodes. Make sure to hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner somewhere down here below so you don't miss out any future content. That said, let's talk a little bit about support. Most of you or pretty much everyone already had some issues where it was necessary to contact a support team. May it be that your TV is broken and you want to call the manufacturer in order to figure out if there's still warranty and how you can exchange it. Maybe there was an issue with your credit card, bank account, insurance, whatever it is. Or maybe you're using a software like Click ClickFunnels and you have some technical issues you would like to get help with. Now, well, before or Years ago, it was very common that companies had their own in-house departments, probably decades ago almost now. Um, it became more and more common that support gets outsourced to third parties or freelancers and so on, mostly to reduce the cost that support is causing to the company. Now, that said, a lot of those freelancing services are paying their agents depending on, for example, the number of calls, the number of solved issues and so on. And this is a huge factor in when you want to get to support. I, I experienced this right now because I'm doing a little bit support work myself as a ClickFunnels expert. And this also works in a way where people get um, compensated for their closed tickets. Now, when somebody sends in a ticket that starts with, I have five questions for some reason for an obvious reason none of the agents wants to touch the ticket why because they know it will take them longer to solve the ticket to eventually earn the two or three dollars or maybe four dollars reward money that is involved with solving the issue yeah so and it's the same thing microsoft airbnb um autocad Auto CAD and a lot of other companies are using the same service that ClickFunnels is using. And there are other services like that as well that provide the same service for other companies. Now there, those support agents get paid for results. And I think it's a great thing because it means like when you do more, when you solve more problems, you make more money. The, the higher skilled you are in order to, uh, and able to solve more problems or solve problems faster, the more money those agents can make. And I think it's a really fair approach. And some agent that is unqualified or doesn't do a lot of work or doesn't want to solve tickets and stuff like that simply doesn't earn the same amount of money. Now, that said, when you are looking for support, you should make sure that you keep your questions short, like keep your initial message short, only ask for one thing at a time and don't be a dick. And when that question is answered, tell them that they can close the ticket and simply send another email for your next question. This way, the support agent will not abandon you because he knows he can solve this question, he will solve it, he will earn his whatever one, two, three, four, five dollar reward, whatever it is. And then when you send the next ticket, another agent or even the same agent will take that ticket and do the same. If you start a ticket with one easy question and then you keep going, oh, I have another question. I have another question. I have another question. Well, eventually the support agent will ask himself uh, if it's worth his time to stick with this ticket just to ensure he earns that let's say $2 um, reward money or commission or whatever it is, or if it's better for him to simply tell you that he cannot solve it, some other agent should take care of it because he doesn't know how to do it and that he moves on and solves easier tickets so he has more money in the end. Yeah. Now ask yourself if you have a ticket or if, if you were an agent in that position and you see a ticket with such a history already, would you be willing to take this ticket when you already know, when the customer has already shown that he's going to ask more and more and more questions? Most li likely you will not not, and that customer will not get proper support. And so for you as a customer, no matter where it is that you need support, do not ask follow up questions unless they really relate to the initial issue. Yeah. So in terms of click funnels, if your first issue is that you do not know how to set a fab icon, then don't ask suddenly how to set up Google suite. Yeah, it does not fit together. It's not the same issue. Chances are that the agent that answered your first question may not even know how to solve your second question, but because he wants to get that reward money, he will still provide you with a, a look at this guide answer without 
understanding it himself in some cases, which does not help you, it does not help him and everybody in the end is frustrated. If you however get your answer on your how to set your fab icon question and you then tell the agent he should go ahead and close it and after this you send a new question how to integrate G-Suite and another agent that actually knows G-Suite will then take that question most likely and provide you with a proper answer. Or he will also provide you with a link to the guides and if you have follow-up questions relating to the G-Suite setup he will be able to answer them for you. And that's really, it doesn't only apply to ClickFunnels, it applies to almost all major companies. While they have some in-house support that deals with issues that the, that the first level outsourced support cannot deal with because it requires account access or it's really highly technical or something like that, yeah. Um, in order for you to get your answers faster, that's the way to go. Ask one question at a time, don't ask unrelated follow-up questions, but tell the agents that it's okay to close the ticket. Leave positive reviews if they help you solve the ticket. Yeah, And that's how you do it. Like, don't be a dick. Always try to imagine how would you like to be treated if it were the other way around. If you were the support agent and a customer would come with those questions. Yeah. Also, don't forget those people are just doing their job. Yeah, it sucks if you have an issue with, with, with whatever it is you're doing, but it doesn't. it's not their fault. It may be the, the company's fault that provides the software or whatever, or that provided the TV to you, but it's not the fault of the person that's taking care of your needs right now. So try to remember that when you reach out to them, don't be a dick, be nice, treat them the way you would wanna be treated, yeah? And consider that they may be compensated based on the amount of tickets they solve. So, and then ask yourself, how would you like it if one customer keeps asking questions and you know in the end, you spend an hour on one ticket and eventually you only earn, I don't know, maybe $2 or something like that. That's it for today. Again, for, for you ClickFunnels users, that's not a guideline or something that actually is a guarantee how to get better support from the, especially from the ClickFunnels experts team. For most other companies, again, Microsoft, Xbox, Airbnb, Shopify even, and a bunch of other huge companies are using the same system. So there it works exactly the same. You want support from them. Ask one question at a time. Don't write a ticket. I just have five questions. Yeah, nobody will want to take the ticket for you. It will just uh, hang around there for days to come. You will be frustrated. Your ticket will not be resolved. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you're already doing it like that, if you always consider that the person that's dealing with your support question actually didn't cause your issue and that all they do is also try to make a living most likely um, by helping you solve those problems. Or if you're one of those people that sometimes uh, basically like gets rude or basically, um, uh, how to say, like pro protect, no, not protect, projects their anger at the support person. Yeah. So yeah, so thanks for watching. See you tomorrow with another episode. Uh, tune in, tomorrow is Sunday, so it means a progress report on what we accomplished other than the One Comma Club Award that you can see in the background during the last week. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, till then, bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. If it provided you with any value whatsoever, don't forget to like it by hitting that thumbs up button down below. And also to ensure you don't miss out any future content, go ahead right now and click on the subscribe button down below. Now, last but not least, the only thing left for you to do is actually pick which of the following two videos you wanna see next, and I'll see you there.